Somewhere beyond the sea Somewhere waiting for me This mask is Masked Monday's mask D Yeah, I don't know that it really that fell apart, okay. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Mask Get Monday. What are we masking with today? The Organic Facial Mask Pack by Wamisa. It's their green essence lifting mask. It's made from real sea kelp. As you know, if you're a subscriber to my subscription box, Face Mask Alchemy, I love seaweed. I love putting seaweeds in masks because they are so hydrating, so I've kind of been obsessed with wanting to try this mask for a while. However, it's $9. Actually, I think I got it for $9. It might be $14. You know what? I'm going to flash the price here. Yeah, it's, it's not cheap. Um, it's great ingredients, and the actual mask itself is made of sea kelp, so yeah, not um, cheap. But here's the thing I've come to feel about sheet masks. I, I don't love sheet masks that much. I love the results of sheet masks. They're hydrating. Um, but for the most part, the only masks I've sheet masks I've really enjoyed wearing are these Wamisa masks. As any Wamisa product is, it's packed with aloe vera. Lots of aloe vera. It has some wild yam root some argon oil, um, bamboo serums, just a lot, oat kernel, a lot of very hydrating things, royal jelly. So I have a feeling it's gonna feel really good. It's 90.37% organic. I love how they tell you like down to the percentage. All right. So of course my skin is dry. It's always dry. Ooh, it's green. Ah. And smells seaweedy. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is this mask? <gasps> heaven, I'm in heaven. And I look even more creepy than normal. So it says to leave it on for 15 minutes. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's going to kind of suck up and um, cling to your face as well as the hydrogel does, but we'll see. It's, I kind of want to leave it on longer. Well, already I feel like the fit is not as good. Maybe I should stop talking. So really quick, I wanted to show you some of my babies. Okay, so I left it on a lot longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> the one thing that kind of bugged me was the fit. As always it does with sheet masks. Like if it, unless it's clinging to my skin, I kind of just am like, meh. You can definitely feel that my skin has absorbed a lot of the moisture from the seaweed. It's got the signature Wamisa sort of tackiness from all the humectants, all the aloe vera. So it definitely feels like I put on a lot of layers of toner. I'm probably gonna finish it up with um, some day cream and I'm just gonna leave all the essence on there. It is pretty tacky. Um, so I'm gonna check in with you maybe later this afternoon and let you know. The really nice thing about the Wamisa sheet masks is that my skin will feel hydrated all day and so I kind of want to see beyond this moment right now I mean my skin is feeling great but it's just been you know packed with humectants and seaweed so of course it feels great now I kind of want to see how it feels in later today so I'll check in with you later today okay so excuse my post-workout face 
Um, I would say that at the end of the day, um, my skin feels pretty good, but it definitely didn't maintain the hydration the way that the hydrogel mask does. So um, for the $14 price tag, as cool as it is to be putting sea kelp on your face, I don't think I would repurchase that mask. Um, it just didn't deliver the, the results for me in the way that the hydrogel mask does. So I don't think I would spend $14 uh, to do it again. But it was definitely fun to try. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.